Hey folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play EU4 Mare Nostrum expansion. And we are still playing as Lubeck, a Lubeck which has quadrupled in size in the last 36 years, and actually has uh, increased quite a bit more than that, because technically we have gone and sieged all of Pomerania, and there's nothing they can do about it. We have pieced out all of the other people in the war. We are just waiting until some of our other aggressive expansion burns off a little bit before we vassalize these guys. This will be a relatively large vassal, technically slightly bigger than us, which could lead to a little bit of um, rebellion. I guess what we could do is we could eat one of their provinces. Oh, it hadn't occurred to me to do that. We'll get a little extra aggressive expansion, um, but yeah, we could swallow up one province for ourselves and just core it, and then we can annex the rest. We'll get a minimal amount of rebellion to worry about. Um, it will be outside of our current state, right? The state system is a new thing. It would technically be a territory, but that's not too bad. I have little feathers on this guy's uh, little cask going on. Oh, secret societies and government. Let's see. So this is pro guilds, anti aristocrats. Plus one stability. Stability is quite expensive for us to boost because Republican tradition, if it's not at 100%, it dramatically increases the stability cost. Um, so, the, oh, okay. So there's a secret society. Full extent of the guild's activity is really only known to its members since guilds exist in part to manage knowledge. I don't remember this. Is this something that was in before and I just haven't played a Republic in a while or what? Uh, this is inevitable, but it leads to allegations and conspiracies. You may pay little attention to these ideas, consider them paranoid delu. Syndic, our republic's in danger. I cannot speak here. A noble drags you to the side and talks in a whispered voice at length of who may or may not be part of secret guilds within the government of Lubeck. He names other nobles who are equally concerned. So many, in fact, that his own side seems more like a conspiracy than the one he accuses. Even so, there's no doubt that the aristocrats of Lubeck feel threatened by the possible secret societies the guilds have brought into existence. So, okay, this is pro-guild anti-aristocrats and vice versa. This option gets me 10 prestige which, honestly, we do need the prestige to recover so that we don't lose our guild, our trade league uh, leadership, um, would also give us paranoid recruitment, which makes our advisors more expensive. Or the other option, oh, it costs us 15 prestige. Jeebus. Costs us prestige, gains us stability, which I really, really, really want, and then leaves the possible secret guild influences unaddressed for now. Oh my god, this, this really sucks. Um, we do have the prestige guy, which is helping to bounce back. Obviously, it always drifts towards zero for sure. And then, in addition to that, we've got the prestige guy. Right now, it would be 10 years to recover fully. With that, that'll increase it a fair bit. The prestige is too good, and really what... Or, sorry, the stability is too good. But really what it comes down to is I want to see where this goes. I may... I'm not going to lie. We may look back at this episode as an episode that screwed us. But I can't possibly say no to the secret society thing. I have no idea where this event goes. Boom. I like the stability, but yeah, minus 36. We'll drift a little bit faster. It's still about just a little over 10 years, actually, for it to go back to zero at this rate, which ain't that bad. And we're going to get some prestige from swallowing up Pomerania, uh, certainly. But having a low prestige does mean more aggressive expansion impact, 2.1% right now, which really sucks. We're trying to try to counter it a little bit with our diplomats here. And mostly we're just sitting around and we're waiting until the call for peace starts, and then we'll peace them out. And we're hoping... Um, certainly, at the very least, Austria should be out of range for aggressive expansion for the coalition, and a few of the others will try to bring as many as possible below 50, if we can. That's one of the reasons our spies are out, because they will generate, so we've got one, I don't remember where they are. That's the Platinate, oh, and Hesse, right, over here. So if we look, they're going to get negative 2.2% aggressive expansion as a result of the spy stuff. So we're basically canceling our poor prestige with our spies at this point, which, I mean, I guess still helps. One of the things, if you do want to play an expansionist game in the HRE, it really helps to pick up influence ideas over here for less aggressive expansion impact. Really, really quite helpful. And there's the call for peace. Uh, Flanders joined a trade lead. That's fine. Call for peace. We could wait a little bit longer, but I'm going to go ahead and, and go for it at this point because we don't have that much um, war exhaustion, but there's some. Okay. So our diplomat's back. Let's sue for peace. So... If we were to vassalize, that's 20. If I were to also eat this, 21, so slightly more. And right now, the aggressive expansion... Okay, Austria's out of the list. Bohemia's about to be below 50. Now, most likely, it will take them a little bit of time before they actually um, agree. But I'm going to make sure that Bohemia's out. Obviously, Pomerania we don't have to worry about. It's mostly like, 
it's mostly going to be the fact that Brandenburg, who's right next to me, will likely join. I don't know how fast that'll go away. It is burning off at two per year. So we'd have to wait too long for them to be out of the danger zone. So I will wait until the end of the month, and I think Bohemia will be completely out. And I'll feel better about that. But we're clearly not going to take a province. While it may help keep these guys a little bit more steady, um, it is because they're going to be smaller, so they're not going to be as much, you know, rebellion-y, rebellionist something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> English, how do you? Um, that would lead to extra aggressive expansion. So now if we look... Oh, Bohemia's still in there. Right, I guess that makes sense, because it's like, for them, it's probably two per year as well. Now, they're pretty busy. I don't think they'd join the coalition, but it would all, you know, factor in. So I'm just going to wait until one more of these modifiers go away. Is that tick enough? No, I mean, I guess we could send a spy there. Now I'll leave it in Hess. Although, I guess now it can start to get uh, caught. Risk of discovery. So I'm going to go and cancel you. And you know what? I will go and send a spy over here. Which will just help to give it a little negative modifier. And between the two, we shouldn't end up somewhere we're pretty happy. If we lose a point of the current aggressive expansion, that'll be one thing. But also, we're going to get a slight modifier the other way. I'm going to wait until August the 1st. How about now? Vassal. Bohemia's still in there. Probably they won't declare, but I want to make sure that the others don't decide that there's enough allies on their side. Uh, sure. Denmark, wait, who are you at war with? You know what? Go in there. Go fight Brunswick and Brandenburg and all those. You have fun. And Norway as well. You guys have fun in there. Go and uh, wreck some stuff. Bohemia's still in the list. Refused to join the war against us was a positive modifier. Interesting. Yeah, I'm just waiting for that tick of aggressive expansion to go away. And or for us to get slightly more negative modifier over there. Oh, and we got a rebellion popping up. What are these guys? Heretics. Wow. Well, we are going to have to go and stop them from besieging the land, if nothing else. Uh, it's too early for us to keep this guy, so we're not going to do that yet. Um, how are the different things? Aristocrats are sitting at zero. I think I'm going to go back to a bureaucratic candidate. It'll probably cause, yeah, the guilds to take over, but not by too much. I think we're going to lose this. Are we not at full morale? No, we were. That was in bright green. My goodness. They don't have a leader or anything. I mean, yeah, we got the minus one on our side. Oh, Saxony's going to help out with the rebels. Thank you, Saxony and everything. Hey, there you go. A little bit of an incentive for staying in the war is that our allies are going to butt in. Cool. I think I'm going to preemptively go and pay this down just a wee bit. I mean, it's going to go down after the war ends. Ah, you know what? Let's, we can we can tank it. It's okay. Man, these are tough rebels. What the heck? Get in there. Where's my guys? Well, I, we lost a lot of manpower there. In fact, I don't know if we've got enough spare to completely replenish our troops. Nope. Although... Should be okay. Really? You didn't go after the last group? Come on. Is it because you're hurt? Hold on. Friendly's going to attach. I'm going to go sit over there. They might be coming to join me now. So we'll just wait. We'll get to Stettin. We'll get a little bit of reinforcements and our ticks, and hopefully these guys will follow along with us. But maybe they won't. Looks like no. That's more than a little bit frustrating. Although, I guess they will no longer be my rebels. Which is kind of interesting. Oh, they're going to cross into me. Now, I will get the woods, but I have no morale. Could get stack wiped here. I may have been a little too eager to come in. Probably won't get stack wiped. <laughs> but we'll probably still lose the battle. Oh my god, I think we're getting stack wiped, you guys. I did not expect them to jump on me that fast. Okay, no stack wipe, but under siege. Okay, sue for peace, come on. Bohemia. Bohemia's out of the list. Excellent. So we're going to do that and take all their money. And send demands. Now, the fact that I just lost some troops is actually really bad because it'll increase the chance that someone will be willing to join a coalition against me or support my rebellious uh, rebel. Oh, they probably won't do that yet. Okay, now we have to choose someone. We don't have... I, I may wait a little while to see someone uh, rivals me, but really, Denmark is going to be my next rival. Who hates Denmark? England, Scotland, Lithuania, Muscovy. Maybe me and England can get in a little thing against Denmark. That would actually be quite nice. And I think it's obvious. Denmark is going to be 
arrival in many, many ways. So we're going to go ahead and declare them so. And I will send them an embargo as well. Issue embargo. Boom. And then head back over here. Still have no manpower. Um, now we do have the ability to get mercs. Push comes to shove, so that's going to be okay. No rebellion has formed yet, which is nice to see. Oh, Sax Lomberg, no longer a rifle. Really? Well, that's really disappointing. Um, I don't really want to rival any of these people. Like, at all. Allied with Saxony? That's kind of awkward. I think I'll just wait until someone else maybe names me rival, and then we'll play that one by ear. Um, I don't remember what these uh, heretics will do. They're not mine, right? Are they mine? No, they're not my rebels. <laughs> so we should be okay. Costly trade embargo over here. Well, we broke that. And uh, we'll make sure to send an insult to someone as well. Guild leaders rival noble status. Money is money, new or old. So we, this would lose prestige, which I don't really want to do. Um, this gives me a manpower boost in my capital, which is pretty substantial. We will lose 30 power in total, but we won't lose prestige. And this is a time I can't afford to lose more prestige. So I will take, if they do us a favor, we can keep the upstarts out. Side for the aristocrats, which don't have much influence anyway. It's still the guilds are the primary ones. Um, yeah, you guys charge up over here. Subject has high liberty desire. Yep, I'm sure they do. Uh, who's another one of our rivals? I guess we only have the one. No, we have two. I can insult Brandenburg. Mm, do, 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 do. Send insult, because we probably haven't done that in a while and I haven't been checking. And then as soon as we can send something to these guys, we will. Now... I don't know if their independence can be supported right now, because there's a truce, and I hope they can't. Because if their independence is being supported, then um, they're going to get like 100% liberty desire, and there's nothing I can do about it. But otherwise, we should be okay. There's a coalition, kind of, sort of, as expected. Um, I'm going to go and temporarily... I'm going to get a couple of um, mercs. I know it's a little bit crazy right now because we're not in a war, but I want to make sure to bump up my military stats ASAP. And what I'm going to do... Oops, I didn't want to consolidate all. I want to split off some before I consolidated. Although I guess that's fine. Okay, and the Platinate. Kind of, sort of, as expected. Uh, I'm going to bring back this spy. And... See if we can bump up our relationship with Brunswick. Because I'm, I'm going to hope... like, Because technically they can join in the coalition. Because we have more than 50 aggressive expansion. But I'm hoping that they like me enough that they might decide otherwise. We'll keep our, uh, we'll keep our expenses up right now. Our maintenance. I will want to go and maybe help these guys. But we don't have the manpower. I don't know. So I say I could go and just attach over here. And maybe I'll do that. Of course, we might just lose another battle. But I will go ahead and try to attach in that general area. Um, we do have 10 force limit now. And I do have some money. And we're mostly full. So I'm actually going to go and queue up a couple of Latin Knights. Out of my not manpower. Or out of my manpower pool. Not my Merc pool. And we'll get them to come over here. And I'm going to say I'm going to attach. <clears throat> So hopefully we'll help you out. All right, you're mothballed. How's my naval? Okay, 16 to 16. Nothing to be done there. Got some money. We will probably build some buildings relatively soon. We still only have the one fort in our capital. This might be actually a good place to build the fort. It borders a lot of people who could be aggro to us. And we'll stop people from just running directly through our country. I love... Okay, so who started this war? Brunswickian conquest of Ostfriedland. Which is here. We're not in a trade league, because otherwise I would have gotten a call. I do have the trade league buddies. i got to remember that. That helps. I love that Brandenburg has taken a hit. If it wasn't for the fact that we were wickedly, you know, aggressively expanded already and didn't have much of an army left standing, uh, this would be a great time to jump in on these guys. Or um, perhaps saxe Lauenburg, Because all of their, both allies, both Brandenburg and Brunswick are currently in a war, and they may not be willing to join in. I mean, I guess I could check... But again, I have all the aggressive expansion. If I go and take saxe lauenburg right now, it's a GG coalition of all of Germany. So I can't do anything. I just got to go and sit on my hands for a little while. 
And that's not, you know, the worst. Do do do. I'll get some more troops over there. And presumably they're still training some troops. I did take all their money, of course. <laughs> but I'm okay with that. Still working on these ideas. Although I think we're going to go back to. Um, Yes, we have some corruption and stuff, too. It'd be nice to boost our admin tech ahead of time at this point. Plus, then we get some workshops going on, which would be really good for some money. Really, really good. And, um, is that the ones? Yeah, the force limit buildings. We want those on basically every province. We want as much naval force limit as we can possibly do. This is strength 10 now. I'm surprised it's not moving in. I have attached, right? I mean, it might attach to me if I make a move. So I can't believe that Norway still has Sweden and, um, or sorry, Denmark still has Sweden and Norway. Like, hold on, I'm getting this wrong somehow. I can't believe, I usually am used to seeing them broken off by now, but I don't. Guild before country. When aristocrats warned us of secret societies that supposedly infiltrated Lubeckian politics, we chose not to listen. They predicted that we might very well pay with our lives when this conspiracy turned against us. Nothing quite so dramatic has happened, but one of our close advisors had made some very dubious decisions lately and eventually admitted that these were services to secret society that the advisor was being part of. Other politicians are up in arms about this and there's nothing, there's no avoiding scandal in this area. So there's disloyalty, must be punished, it'll kill someone. That's my anti-aggressive expansion guy, unfortunately, and lose 50 admin power, or we could try to defuse it and lose 100. Okay, well, I don't love you that much, buddy. And do that. Hopefully, we can get another diplomat. Uh, I'll take the diplo rep. Oh, they're both level two guys, and I don't think... No, we can't justify spending that much money. Not on a level two. We'll have to wait a little bit longer. I wonder if we can just go, like, if I detach... If I went, will you follow? No, you won't follow. So I'll just attach to you, and you can decide when you want to attack your rebels. I don't know why this stack doesn't go and just deal with this. Maybe they really don't care. All right, we are we are sucking up to these guys. And actually, if we did fight the rebels, they would like us a little bit more, which is nice. Oh, also, we are one above our relationship. Oh, Poland is military access. Um, so that'll bring me back down to a reasonable amount. And you return the one from Brunswick. Cancel that. There we go. That's right, because we don't have an ally with them anymore. Can we get it back? I wonder if that modifier has gone away. Not yet, but at some point it would be nice if we could become friends with Poland again. Wow, they're really upset about unlawful territory. Poland is? Oh, no, it's the other way around. They own unlawful territory. I'm, I'm messing over the wrong thing. Okay. Yeah, it makes a lot more sense. Mm -hmm. No manpower. 100 per month. That's just so bad. When do we get the... Um... Do, do, do. Buildings, buildings, buildings. Where is it? Here. When do we get this? The barracks. Military level 6. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, and we're about to get it. Good, because we will be building barracks. Well, I think we have to build barracks everywhere. Certainly, we're going to build it in our capital, ASAP. Capital gets all the best modifiers right now, because it's got it's the only place with no autonomy. Uh, we do have the free diplomat. So, I'm going to take this time. I did still like the idea of discouraging these guys from joining the coalition. Let's go ahead and do that. Keep working on Brunswick. Discourage them from joining the coalition. Because if they peace out, they might decide to change their mind. Friesland. Whatever happens over here, I'm really happy. These are all the people around me are at war with each other, which means no matter what, my possible targets are getting weak. And that's great. Seriously, though, are you ever going to go after the... Like, I don't understand why you're not... Do you not consider them to be your own rebels? No, it's Pomerania. Just seems really quite odd. We're at our force limit, right? No, no, force limit of 10. Right, right, right. Um, I will build a non-merc. Oh, there we go. Attack me. Oh, it's grasslands, but hopefully you'll get a river crossing. Um, trade league. Armies are under attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that, and then I'll go and de-siege their stuff as well. Lovely. Take you. Break that. Come over here. How many do we need to siege here? I think it's just three, right? Yeah. So I can detach and go there as well. Although, the other way around. Because I still have a guy with a siege bonus. We're going to do that. I'm going to take credit for desieging your territory. And you're going to like me that much more. Force vassalized us. And the aggressive expansion. Defended our provinces, though. So we're going to boost that up a wee bit. 
How's the uh, Liberty Desire? 75%. It is dropping, because I think it was at 80-something for a bit. Opinion, trust, relative strength. So that's going to be a bit of an opinion boost again. There we go. That. Down to 70%. We could, if I was willing to spend prestige, and I'm not, we could go and bring them down to 50. Um, oh, no, we can't. Must have positive prestige, right? That makes sense. So we're not going to do any of that. <laughs> or any of this, or any of this. No longer called into wars. No, we need you to be defending us war-wise. War Move over there. And yeah, I'm going to take credit for desieging your fort. And look at this. Denmark is being beaten up. Interesting. Very interesting. I, I don't know what I would have preferred for an outcome. A weaker Denmark is good, although if this territory... If they force them to release Holstein, that might be really nice. They won't have any friends yet. But, you know, it can't do anything. It literally doesn't matter. Whatever happens for the next ten years is irrelevant. Oh, there we go. Just wanted to check to see if we got another guy, and we did, and it's perfect. That's exactly who I want. It's a better relations over time guy. Foreign plots. Ew. Sucky situation or sucky situation? Don't want to lose Republican tradition. Well, actually, hold on. Again, if we're counting this to be worth 100 admin, and it's actually worth a little bit more than that. Stability is worth... Well, first of all, plus 2 is worth more. But because of the cost of increasing things, um, I'm going to rate 1 stability being worth about 125 power point. And we've established that um, Republican tradition is worth about 10 power point per. So this is about 100 points, and this is slightly over 100 points. This also gives me money. So I'm going to go this route means we're delaying our ability to get a super leader for a while, but it's cost us fewer points, and we get to sit at higher stability, which is going to be nice in the short term. Uh, we're going to grab this military technology. Boom. And am I going to get the idea? I don't need interest per annum right now. It is going to take three ideas before we get the plus one merchant. I think I'm actually going to save up for the workshop instead. Although I only have so much money, and I am going to be building barracks first. But I think I want to bring up the tech. Plus, if we can get ahead of time again and bring down the corruption, that would be nice. So we're going to build there. And actually, I will build here as well. Wismar is almost out of autonomy, which is great. Although, if I build that, we may be out of slots. Yeah, because I'm going to need 10 development. So I may actually spend some points bringing Wismar up to 10 development here. Um, so that we can build something else. Perhaps like, you know, a naval yard, for example. Um, we can recall that diplomat. That's fine. And then we'll go and just boost up Cologne, because they're another person. Like, their, their aggressive expansion isn't a problem right now, but they could potentially be an ally in the future. So there's still a coalition, technically, but it's not a very big one. Obviously, Brandenburg will never leave the coalition. Well, I mean, Brandenburg will never like us, is what I actually meant to say. Um, how much have we sucked up to... Nothing with Austria. Actually, that's probably better than sucking up to Cologne. We finished that, which is great. Just going to wait for the diplomat to come home. Our general is gone, but that's okay. Uh, improve relations. Actually, that was probably the one guy with the four maneuver. Ooh, that's less than okay. All right, let's bring you over here. We have 53 power projection. I guess so. We did eclipse saxe lauenburg and vassalize Pomerania. That's not bad. I can't believe no one else is rivaling us. I don't want to rival Hamburg. It'll get rid of one of the people in my trade league. Poland is potentially a great friend. Brunswick is actually like, we need to minimize how many threats we've got. I guess if we're going to do anyone, the Teutonic Order might be fine. Who hates the Teutonic Order? Poland, Thuane, Brandenburg. You know what? Okay, that's actually, that's the no-brainer. I don't know why I even hesitated doing that. We want them to hate us because we can get more mutual friends going on. And actually, even if we can't ally Poland, maybe we can ally Lithuania. They did take a beating, and actually now they're covered in rebels as well. They lost a ton of territory to Muscovy, covered in rebels. But they're still a good uh, potential ally for us. I love how people are fighting in our territory. Like, no, just go ahead, guys. It's fine. I wasn't using that land for anything. Like, attrition, what's that? Now, if Denmark takes a hit in this, actually, that's probably the best outcome. The more, the more Denmark just loses, and right now they're winning. But if the Denmark did lose then it might weaken them and encourage Sweden and Norway to break away. So that would have been nice. Oh, with the guilds in charge, we, do, we are getting a discount over here, which is nice. But I don't want to spend all my money. Again, when I hit about 200, we'll go and spend some more. Um, 
I guess I'll go and drop my maintenance right now, since I don't have any manpower to refill my armies regardless. And actually, with that in mind, let's go ahead and detach these mercs. We've rebuilt our army a fair bit. My standing army is halfway there, or most of the way there. Uh, spare no expense. What is my inflation now? Okay, not quite worth buying off. But yeah, I need to keep a relatively decent standing army to be impressive towards Pomerania and also discourage that. People joining the coalition. You are at peace. There we go. That's why. Now could fire. Where's the rest of Pomerania's army? I'm kind of confused. Hmm. Military-wise, at least we're at six, although so are our neighbors. We have no manpower. So we definitely need to make sure we're saving up money well here. Because we're going to need mercs if, if war happens. But we do still have... We do have two allies. Only two. Bremen and Saxony. They're, Saxony's pretty good. They're actually relatively large here, which is nice to see. And of course we have the Trade League, so that's some extra muscle over there. I think we're still sitting in a relatively comfortable situation. You know, if we could get Verdun to like us again, they could probably rejoin our Trade League. Although, I'm not going to complain about my current diplomats. we got a positive relationship with Pomerania. Actually, they are loyal now. Wonderful. Liberty Desire. I mean, still relatively high, but not that high. Yeah, the relative power is, is pretty pretty rough there. But they are below the 50% danger zone, which is good. And I think making friends with Austria is a good idea. Whether we ally them or not is sort of irrelevant. Uh, yeah, we're going to grab this. Because we'll probably want to build the workshop. Get some more trade goods. And we get a decision. The Heretico Act. Yes, we want this. More taxes, more missionary strength to the end of the game, and we're quite happy to give more reform desire to Catholicism because I'm not planning on staying Catholic. HRE is actually getting not too far away from passing reform. There we go, and Denmark is losing again. Well, they're at zero war score, but it looks like they're sort of losing to me. All right, workshop. Yeah, we're sort of full on stuff, aren't we? Huh. Huh. And, yeah, we're going to do this. That way we're both ahead of time on Admin and Diplo, which will help burn away the corruption that much faster. Still going to take over two years to burn away what we've got. Um, and I'm happy we're staying on top of that. It feels like if you let corruption get high enough to cause you actual problems, and right now it's not, but it would be very difficult to get rid of. Let's go ahead and get an extra infantry building here. Let's try to bump up our relative strength. I th I'm wondering about moving here. I don't know how much attrition we're getting here in our capital, but... I also like standing in our capital, so I don't know. <laughs> Barracks, church, marketplace, all good things to have in our home. So yeah, I think we are not going to end up buffing our, um, our land to get somewhat more holdings. Because I would like to increase our force limit. Oh, looks like peace. Well, one of the two wars has just ended. I think that's it right here. Oh no, England peaced out with France. Oh, giving a bunch of territory to France. Down here, but up here. Oh, yeah, France is Navarra. These are English pretender rebels. Quite interesting. What else was weird going on? So Ireland, Leinster is doing a pretty good job of taking a lot of that. And there's some more rebels over there. Lithuania still dealing with a lot of rebels. They have... Lithuania is a really interesting shape here, having lost some in the north, but expanded down here. Which I'm pretty sure that's an expansion. I don't think they start with that. Poland's not that different. I think Poland's been pretty stable. There you go. You're loyal and building up, which is good, because you'll actually help me in war. And yeah, we're going to keep building up. We can get all the way up to plus 200 improved relations here. Um, that won't bring us to 190 by itself. We're still going to have to wait for that, some of the negative modifiers to burn off, but we are happening. That's happening faster, thanks to George, you guy over here. Mm -hmm. We're short just how many? 147. So for the sake of the argument, I'm going to go ahead and boost my army maintenance for a month. Yeah, a month and then bring it almost all the way down. Seven. There you go, 14 men. Denmark cancelled military access. That's... Whoa! Okay. So that's a bit scary, because they are going to jump on us. I'm going to make a ruler. Yeah, you kind of suck. Let's roll some dice. You are a lot better. 
don't like that we're gonna have no um, morale. And I was wondering about that a few times, but I didn't realize, I guess I could have put my troops in Rostock. That would have been safe. Can I still move them out of here? No, I can't. Really, I can't get out of there in time. That's really bad. That's really bad. Um, well, before we get completely run over, let's get mercs going everywhere. That's really, really bad. Now, we are doing extremely well against them. Could really spend for the extra diplom- uh, no. The discipline guy would be too expensive. We did really well. I can't imagine winning, because we started with so little morale. But we did. And we stack wiped them. Holy crap! How did that happen? <laughs> okay, um, so let's take a look. Who's on our side? We've got Bremen, Hamburg, Munster, Pomerania, of course, Riga, Saxony. So Saxony and Munster are allies? No, Bremen. But uh, Bremen was already, they're actually in our trade league. So the Bremen would have joined anyway, and Hamburg, Munster, and Riga are on in the trade league, so they've joined in. Uh, Riga, I'm not sure they're going to do much over there, but I don't know. Maybe moral support. Uh, there are no coastal enemies, so we don't have to worry about our ships in any way. I'm going to make sure that my navies, they're not set to go home at war. That's fine. Uh, this battle's actually over. It just needs a day to tick. Well, i say that's pretty good. Now, the big problem, of course, is Brandenburg. I'm going to stand in Lauenburg. It is woods. It's a good defensive position to sit in. Friendlies can attach. I actually, I think I will encourage that. And then what we'll do is maybe we'll, um, I'm, I'm over my force limit here, of course. We do have to go and smash another army. It'd be nice if we can catch these guys before they join up. Maybe, maybe we still can. Maybe the right thing to do is going to be to move forward here. And see if we can hit, uh, no, that's going to be, that's going to be all kinds of bad. Hmm. It'd be nice if they attacked me over here. Ooh. We might be able to... Uh, it's my maneuver. One, two... What do you got? Four maneuvers. So there's no way we can avoid a river crossing if we move in on you. So I'm like, well, if they're moving away, I can maybe jump them part of the way. Um, and then you know, we can fight a fair bit before the reinforcements come. But it looks like that's not going to be an option. Right, if I do this... We will just be fighting these 5k dudes, but these guys will turn around pretty fast and come after me. And we're going to be doing a minus 2 modifier between the woods and the river. Um, Hessa, what's your military attack? You're only on 5. What did we get on 6? I mean, we got the barracks, but what else did we get? I don't remember. We didn't get new units or anything like that. We got more infantry shock. And infantry fire. Our infantry is a fair bit better than theirs. We don't really have reinforcements all coming towards us, though. We're a little bit scattered. We'll be at we'll be at a numbers advantage, but a big stat disadvantage, and then we'll be at a numbers disadvantage for a while before everyone else shows up. I might just sit here. Oh, now that I like. Going on to Potsdam, I'm going to wait until he is locked. And then I'm going to jump on him over there. We're still going to get minus two to our rolls. Oh, I can't go directly. Okay, well, let's see what how, what other ways we can catch this guy. I'm going to wait until we're a little bit more connected. Yeah, river crossing. Where are you crossing to? Over to here. I think we still get a river crossing there, don't we? No, there's no river crossing from Magdeburg to Brunswick proper. So that's where we want to jump them. So we're just going to wait until they're locked. Uh, that's annoying. The Palatinate's going to show up for this. But I'm, I'm going to be happy with it. We're going to make a minus one, but we've got much better uh, military tech. Palatinate's at six. You're at six. But Hessa's at five. So we should be able to crush these guys really fast, and the rest of other troops should hopefully join in over here. Okay, new election. This would be an actual great time to get a military candidate, because... No, I mean, we won't get there, but if we can get the aristocrats to take over, we'll get a, um, a boost to our morale. 5%. Excellent. 
reinforcements are here as well. So we should be able to take care of the Hestian troops really quickly. That siege is going really well. I don't want them to break the siege as much as reinforcements be nice. I think we're going to end this before they join in. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Um, let's do a consolidate. If they want to come at me, I guess I really don't have a choice. No, I literally cannot leave in time. So I will accept the combat while I have the defenses on my side. And I will be recruiting more mercenaries. Aha! Nice! Pull back. Important thing now is to finish the siege without breaking it because we're, we're fairly progressed in there. Oh, you're going to go... Hmm. No, I don't want that. Um, I'll get there first. Well, I'm locked. I can't change my mind, I suppose. If he wants to attack me, no. And I didn't think he would. What I'm going to do is trim this way down and just send one guy into Lundberg over here to make sure that if this entire stack leaves, technically we haven't reset the siege. I don't think that's going to happen, but I want to be sure. Although now I'm sure I want to go and help out down here. We'll probably meet the Brandenburgians along the way, though. A little overextended there, buddy. I don't know where Brandenburg... There they are. Oh... No, they have enough. They shouldn't lose right away. We should be able to reinforce first, and we did. The other side's got the minus two, in fact. Yeah, keep loading it in there. What general are we fighting with here? This is my side, right? We're the defender? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one, one. Yeah, the plus one fire doesn't really matter too much. The Brandenburgian troops are definitely going to suck, though. Might still end up losing this, but... They're losing a fair amount of stuff on their side. Okay, they did join in. Now they have the numbers advantage and higher base morale. They still have minus two to their rolls, but it's not going to be enough. Uh, they have a higher base morale. Uh, Saxony, I think it's going to be a little too late by the time you get here. Still, the person who started the war, Lauenberg, has been, is going to be kicked completely out of this game. And I'm going to... Can I merge these guys? No. But I can do a little consolidate there. Can anyone else be consolidated? No, you guys are all singletons. Um, and we're still over a force limit, so I guess I'm not going to go and recruit anyone else. Though we do technically have the money. And that is, like, as of Merchant Republic, our superpower is being able to throw money at a problem until it goes away. And I'm feeling overall pretty happy about things. We're going to put a cut in here. This video has gone on long enough. Uh, we are going to siege out uh, the province of Lauenburg over here, which, again, they started the war, so we're going to have a way to back out of it um, at will. We could probably very easily white peace out, should we decide we need to do that. Um, we don't have the aggressive expansion space to take hard territory. But we can break a lot of alliances, we can take a lot of money, which would be good, and ideally I'd like to do that. I mean, to a certain extent, it might be nice to just peace out as quickly as possible, because we're not really going to get that much out of this. But I think breaking alliances would be incredibly powerful. And we might be tempted to take Lauenburg over here. It is... It's only value 6 province. So actually, there's not going to be that much aggressive expansion from taking this, because it's pretty small. And that just gets rid of someone who's annoying. It'll be interesting to see how it goes. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.